I get asked a lot of questions about this Timbo Tusk, you know, as in what can you make in this? And, uh, you know, as I say, I, I haven't found anything that I cannot make in my Scottle. I love this for just about everything. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make popcorn. Hey Welcome to Skyways to Highways, Camp Kitchen. A word of caution, you're gonna see my mushroom happy dance right now. One of my favorite things to do is the farmer's market. I'm just gonna put my diffuser in here. And in order to do that, I just need to bring these little uh, O-rings. <laughs> they're not nuts, they're O-rings, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what they are. They, they, well, they look like far. O's, yeah, I see. So I'm just gonna put this diffuser in. This gives me a wider surface uh, to cook on and it keeps this part from uh, being too hot. So now my heating surface is a little bit further out and I don't get a burn spot or a scorch spot in the center. Okay. So we're gonna make some popcorn. Uh, I'm gonna just turn this on really quick. So the trick is keeping the popcorn moving <laughs> and not having your heat too, too high. Those are the only two factors that you really have to worry about with this. Keep your heat uh, a temperature that's not going to burn your popcorn more than cook it. You wanna start with uh, a little oil. I start uh, with just a few spritzes here. And then I take a few kernels and I put those in first, put my lid back on, and then I wait to hear the first couple of pops and that's when I know that my scottle is up to temp and uh, ready to put the rest of my popcorn in. So we'll wait for that and then we're ready to make some popcorn. So we're just starting to pop here. So I'm just using the lid to keep the popcorn itself moving. So I'm just gonna move these to the side so that they don't burn. I have this beautiful heirloom popcorn that we're going to be making and I'm going to start with a cup. On goes the rest of our corn and keep it moving. <laughs> corn on, get them nicely coated with some oil. And I'm going to add a little salt. These are for the chef. Nice bulb. So I use a chopstick to agitate my corn. And I try not to open it, open the lid too much and let out too much of the heat. But sometimes the tea is getting the temperature right. If it's too high, it's gonna burn before it pops. So I'm gonna take a couple of tries. I'm not gonna say this is the easiest thing to make. But once you get the hang of it, just don't walk away from it. <laughs> I love the sound of pop. Corn popping. I really do. Oh! <laughs> there we go, now it's popping. So by moving the lid around, you keep the heat in for the most part without lifting it and without the popcorn going everywhere. Uh-oh. Few casualties. <laughs> Here's where the chopstick comes in handy. All right. You also have to know when to turn it off <laughs> before it burns. All right, let's see what we've got. Popcorn on the tempo. <laughs> Holy smoke. Yum. So I like to add a little butter. Yeah. Let that melt here. Uh, and today I'm using uh, Miyoko's cultured butter. I'm gonna add a little more salt.
Looking pretty good, guys. All right. Ouch, good. <laughs> and that's how you make popcorn in the Timbo. Now you see, you can make just about anything on this. This scottle is fantastic. And so is this popcorn. Mm. So let me know what you think of this video. And especially if you give this a try at your own campsite, I'd love you to leave me a comment because I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. And whether we see you in the skyways or the highways, just know we're going to take you with us. Happy camping. Mm. You better hurry up. There's going to be none left. <laughs> That's good. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs>